What's up guys? Today we're backpacking Flatiron Mountain in Arizona. Located just east of Phoenix, the Flatiron is a popular hike inside the Lost Dutchman State Park. I set out on the five hour drive from San Diego for my first solo backpacking adventure within the Superstition Mountains. The park is open year round and it's a $10 vehicle entrance fee good for up to four people. It's an additional $15 per Hello. night to backpack overnight. Good. The Superstition Mountains are a popular hiking destination but also have their fair share of horror stories. Legend has it the mountains are cursed by the Apache spirits which protect the sacred burial ground and the lost gold mine still hidden in the mountains. The Apache also believe the gateway leading down to the lower world or hell is located within these mountains. Follow the Siphon Draw Trail and you'll pass a boundary fence and you'll be in the Tonto National Forest. The hike to Flatiron is considered one of the most challenging and spectacular hikes in Arizona. It's 3.3 miles to the top with a total elevation gain of 3,147 feet. Yeah, we are one mile in and it's all incline. Really beautiful, but definitely steep. As you approach the mouth of the canyon, the incline increases and the trail becomes very rocky. You will reach the basin at the two mile mark. This is where the trail becomes more challenging. Climb out of this bowl on the right hand side following the narrow chute. Continue straight up the slippery gravel covered slope until you find yourself in a notch with a spectacular view of the flat iron. This is where the trail becomes more challenging to follow. I ended up getting lost twice, but luckily had my downloaded map on all trails, so I was able to find my way back. The last mile of this hike is very brutal. It's basically scrambling up rock walls and large boulders until you get to the flat iron peak. I didn't do much filming during the last mile as I was trying to get to the peak before sunset. I summited right before dusk and it took me an hour and a half to make it from the trailhead to the flat iron peak. I set up camp and got ready for the night. I met some other backpackers at the top, Alex and Adeline, and they were nice enough to let me hang out at their camp. After crushing some White Claws, tequila, and dehydrated food, it was time to call it a night. I usually have a hard time sleeping in, so I'm up at first light, enjoying coffee with a view. After packing up camp, I decided to hike a couple miles back into the wilderness via the Superstition Ridgeline Trail. This is a very isolated and exposed trail that loops 20 miles around back to the Lost Dutchman campground. I hiked to a massive canyon before turning around and heading back to Lost Dutchman. Let me crash into the ocean, let the water